I'm Vixen, and I'm from Norfolk Senior High. Speak the truth! This is my poem, Hypothermia. My mental health is like a child playing on a frozen pond, sliding along the surface, getting closer and closer to the center, not hearing the ice crack. I break through, plunge into frigid water, everything moves too quickly, I struggle. Trying to stay above the surface, the jagged ice cuts my arms and I slip deeper. I can't remember if the ice broke by itself or if I jumped. I feel like I jumped. I didn't mean to. Fun fact, hypothermia begins when core body temperature drops below 95 degrees Fahrenheit. I feel my arms and legs slowly give up, but my mind still races from thought to thought, useless burden, waste of space. Why am I still struggling? It would be easier to give in. I look up at my friends walking above me, having fun, laughing, but no one sees me drowning in this freezing water, and I keep sinking. Fun fact. Mild hypothermia is between 95 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Symptoms can include a decrease in memory and judgment. I'm too tired to move, so it's easier to just not. My eyelids, like my arms, are heavy. The cold has seeped into my bones. I look up and see something break through the ice. My family and friends trying to save me from drowning texting to make sure I'm okay, asking what's wrong at the dining room table, and offering to stay in my room while I sleep. Fun fact, shivering stops below 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Symptoms of moderate hypothermia include lethargy and feeling warm. Instead of reaching for help, I let myself sink. The water is comfortable now. I've been inhaling water for so long, I'm scared of how the air will burn my lungs when I reach it. Why do I deserve to breathe? I mean, I heard the ice breaking, and I jumped anyway. Or did I fall? Have I always wanted this? Should I embrace it now that I have the chance? Fact. At 82 degrees Fahrenheit, severe hypothermia sets in with unresponsiveness and a loss of reflexes. My therapist says breathe, the comfort of sinking is gone and I shouldn't want to keep drowning, but I can't tell what I want anymore. I miss the air, but I've grown accustomed to the water.